Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Pastor Jay. There's a term that I would hear sports broadcasters use all the time, and it would say, it ain't over until the fat lady sings. Now, I always thought that this referred to some full-figured woman in an opera, and when she began to sing, that would give those in attendance an indication that the opera was almost over. And in reality, that was the furthest thing from the truth. It was a phrase that was made public in the 1970s. And that phrase came from an earlier phrase that said, church ain't over until they start singing. Well, in our story today, we find that the fat lady is singing. King Belshazzar is having a party in the midst of a siege. His kingdom is about to fall because he has not heeded the warnings of God through his prophet Daniel. And what's sad to say is a hand shows up out of nowhere and a finger begins to write on the wall, meeny meeny tekel u parson, which simply means you have been weighed in the balance and found wanting. In other words, you have had chance after chance to do what is right, but you keep doing the wrong thing. And here's the reality for us is there comes a time where God begins to agree with our decisions. You see, Revelation 22 says it this way. So if you want to keep doing what is right, God's going to say yes. But if you want to keep doing what is wrong, God's going to agree with you as well. Many times we're being warned even today, but we don't heed those warnings because like Belshazzar, we're too caught up trying to have a good time, trying to do what we want to do, trying to have all of these pleasures and to satisfy and gratify ourselves. Listen, nothing's wrong with having a good time, but we need to understand that there's some things that will hurt us in the long run and sometimes those things hurt us immediately and God wants to keep us from going down the wrong path so my prayer for you guys today is that the fat lady does not begin to sing in your life and that you will listen to the warnings before you have to have a hand right on the wall